What's up, guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here. And uh, I was stripping some cars today. I got my dad's custom 57 Chevy. Uh, I'm going to do that white and black on this one. Remember, we already got the chassis done, did the cool video on how to, to do that. And then I ran into Will's brother's car. Remember, this was a really, really sexy blue. Now, this was a regular car. This was a premium car. And there's quite a bit of difference, many differences, one of which is the paint. This gets, you know, single coat, light, you know, clear coat. The premium cars are not like that at all. The premium cars are ridiculous. I mean, these cars get, you know, triple clear coat and, you know, a bunch of regular base coat. And, I mean, the paint is super duper thick because I really did not want to strip this car. There's a lot of little teeny tiny details that I kept thinking, man... I'm I'm not going to be able to recreate that. And it really, to be honest, it scared, scared the crap out of me. But I got to strip it. I can't layer, you know, pearl white on top of that blue because it's got that clear coat. It's going to just, it's already going to build up more on the paint and clear coat that's already on it. So I went ahead and stripped it. But I ran into some crazy issues with my stripper. Now, full disclosure, this is not what everybody says to use. Everybody has these cool strippers that you can get on you know Amazon or whatever and some of them are very expensive I think I picked this up from Walmart for like seven or eight bucks maybe ten I don't remember I've had it for a long long time and it's just basically paint stripper remover it's meant for floors and walls and whatnot and I thought well I mean if it's paint stripper it should work and it didn't it didn't for a long time I, I remember trying to strip a I don't know like a, a 70 Dodge Dart or something and it, it wasn't Jason's car it was a different one I was like practicing on it and it it seemed to strip it pretty good I took it outside I did what it said I painted it on and I waited a while and I came back out and a little bit of it bubbled up and I scraped it off and I painted some more on a little bit bubbled up and I took you know the wire brush to it you know after a while I got most of the paint off but then I tried another car in between then and now, and it did nothing. Oh, it was uh, Will Thompson's dad's car. Man, I put stripper all over it like six, seven, eight times. I let it dry on it. I left it on for an hour, and it did nothing. And I thought, okay, well, maybe it's just that car. Well, it wasn't, because then I tried to do dad's car. And I did the same exact thing again. I had my little dish. I, I, I hot glued it to a stick, you know, and put it on top of, you know, the, the little stick. And I, I painted it all on top. And I come back and nothing. I painted again. Nothing. Painted again. Nothing. And at that point, I was like, well, I obviously can't strip, you know, Will's brother's car. Because this is very, very important. This car is important, too. This is going to a very good friend of my dad's. Uh, her kid has actually got one of these cars in the shop right now get a complete resto and we're going to make this exactly like the one he doesn't even know it's coming so this is special too but this is a tribute car to someone who has passed away and uh i take that very seriously so i finally you know had it with this stripper i'm like okay i'm gonna have to get the expensive stuff and i don't know what happened but when i went because it was full you know I don't know if I've seen it somewhere or someone else attempted it with a different stripper because no one's ever had this. And this is the cheap stuff from Walmart. But I thought, man, what if I just submerge the car 100%, just bury it in the stripper and walk away? And I thought, all right, well, let's try it with Dad's car first. This I can replace. This this is a premium car that Will actually bought and sent to me to get this you know, you know, know, done up real nice. This I can go spend a buck at the store and get another one. So I thought, okay, let's throw this thing in there. I threw it in for, I don't know, about a half an hour. And Eureka, I pulled this thing out for 30 minutes, and it's already bubbling a bunch of the paint. I took just a regular toothbrush to it and brushed off a bunch of the paint. I was like, oh, man, this is it. This is how to do it. So I threw it back in there, another half an hour, and it ate almost the rest of the paint off. I took it in the bathroom. You know, got my, I probably got filter face on because, I, you know, I did just got done doing this car, and this is pretty toxic stuff, so... Had the vents gone, had my respirator on, and, uh, you know, I dremeled the rest of it off. Came off super easy, and I thought, okay, I'm going to have to recreate the taillights and the headlights and all that on, on Will Thompson's car, but it's going to only be good if I strip the paint. So, I actually did this one the way I'm going to do it from now on, which is drop it in the goo, twist the cap, and walk away. 
I basically took 100 grit sandpaper first, you know, took the whole car apart, took 100 grit sandpaper to the body and just, just scuffed it a little bit so that this can get into the paint. You know, it's, you know, it's not, maybe not get into the clear coat very well, but it'll get into the paint. So I scuffed it here, scuffed it here, you know, just all around the car, dropped it in and I came back 45 minutes later and I shook it. And I mean, you can just see all the little bits of paint. Almost every bit of that paint came off. And what didn't come off, I took off with a scotch Brite pad. And then, you know, I've got my little dental scraper here to get into the door jams and everything. But I basically took this and, you know, got the little bit of tiny, you know, little tube. And I mean, I know I got to paint this car. I'm going to paint the car, Will. But does that not look cool, stripped? I mean, don't these, I'm gonna do this to one of my cars. But I mean, that looks dope. Just all stripped down, because Hot Wheels makes a Z-Mac. But even that's shiny. So that's a Z-Mac, special edition Hot Wheels. They come out with, you know, 10 or 12 of them a year. And uh, basically it looks just, just like Will Thompson's car, where they, they paint the taillights, they paint the headlights, and you know, maybe one little stripe. Well, Will Thompson, I don't know why, but the taillights didn't come off, and neither did the side markers and stuff. The Mitsubishi logo did, but all most of the important stuff stayed right on the car. So I'm going to attempt to just take that off and use that, because I, I can't recreate this the way that it is. I can get pretty close, but it's not going to be like this. So in my paint video, and I, and I hate to do it, but I might split it into two videos and do a prep video and then a paint video. But I mean, those go hand in hand. So it might be a 30 minute video because I'm going to show how to spray with a shaker can. And I'm also going to show how to airbrush. And uh, I guess I throw prep in there with it. Now that I kind of know what the heck I'm doing, uh, starting with a completely stripped car is by far the best option that you can have. There are a, there are reasons to to not strip a car. This '96 Impala is just getting two matte black racing stripes over the gloss black. I'm not going to strip the car for that. So there are reasons not to strip the car. But in most cases, if you're going to paint that whole thing, I stripped. You know, uh, uh, Will Thompson's dad's car. I took a Dremel to it for about an hour and stripped all the paint off of that. And then uh, Jason's car did that charger for him. I stripped all the paint off of that using this but for some reason it worked better this i don't know it just it, it it wasn't working now i know what to do so if you ever run into an issue like that test your little pill bottle or container first i just put it in there and left it for a night to make sure it didn't eat through the bottle and it didn't so i can actually just go store this somewhere who knows how many times i can use that um we're on to paint next so uh i'm still working on my how-to video uh, to go with my really cool how-to custom Hot Wheels. Uh, I think we're on video number five now. Just got done with the chassis video. Very, very happy with how that's turned out. It's already helped a bunch of people, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, guys, real quick video. Had to show you guys kind of what I was doing with these cars. Well, I promise, working on your brother's car, buddy. Get you guys another really cool video very, very soon. Brian, Amazing RC.